All right, guys, let's talk about our next workout. So our next workout is a four by five minute AMRAP. So we have 20 minutes of work and we have a one minute rest after each five minute bout of exercise, okay? So in this AMRAP, we're gonna be completing oblique V-ups, mountain climbers, and single arm push press, okay? Uh, so tips for this workout, the five minute AMRAP, not a long time, but the rest is also not super long, okay? So you guys are gonna still wanna find a pace in your AMRAP, knowing that you're gonna go right into another one, right into another one, right into another one. DJ Khaled reference for my millennials and Gen Zers or whatever the hell you guys are, okay? Uh, so four by five minute AMRAP, one minute rest after each one. Uh, let's talk about the first movement, the oblique V-up, okay? We have two different options on how we do this. So what we need to do is we're going to lay on our side, just like this. Arm goes straight out by the face, okay? And then you're gonna take your other hand, put it behind your head, and go up. One, two, we're gonna imagine that there's a string attached from the elbow to the knees, okay? Keep those with legs as straight as you can. If you can't do it with straight legs, what you're gonna do is just bend at the knees. Same thing, okay? 10 of those on each side. So you just roll over, do 10 on the other side. Okay, after that, we have 20 mountain climbers. Okay, so the mountain climber, plant the hands. Also, two different ways to do this. Okay, the way that I personally do it is coming up between the hands. One, two, three, four. Okay, if you want to make these harder on yourself because you're glutton for torture, you can do them this way right here. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's going to make life a little bit harder on you. I personally probably won't do that, but you guys can, there's an option, okay? Scale it to your ability. Maybe that's out of my ability, who knows, okay? 20 of those total, so one, two, three, four, and so on. After that, you're gonna find a weight. It can be a dumbbell, a kettlebell, honestly, anything that has a handle that you can grab in your house, get creative with it. If you're gonna use a dog or something, make sure that you're being safe, okay? 10 single arm, push press. So we have the weight at the shoulder and we're just going to dip and drive. One, two, three. Okay. Switch and do 10 on the other arm. Okay. Now those movements, you're probably going to be able to get through relatively quickly. The oblique V-ups hmm, can take anywhere from, let's say 30 to 45 seconds. Maybe that's on the long end. Okay. Um, after that, mountain climbers, those should be unbroken every single time. That is the goal. So right there, we're looking at 15-ish seconds. So you might be able to get the first two movements done in the first minute, and then the push press, probably not gonna take it any longer than 30 seconds. So we're looking around 90 seconds-ish to do one round. So keep that in mind as you're going on. You don't wanna take off hauling ass, okay? And then really regret it because you got three more rounds of it. So keep that in mind, find a pace that you can breathe and just continue to move. It is better to move a little bit slower and to keep that consistent than it is to haul ass and then die off really quick because that one minute is gonna go by quick. If it were a two or a three minute rest, I would say haul ass because you're gonna get a big rest to recover to haul ass again. But because that rest is gonna be so short and it's gonna go by like that, you're gonna wanna find about an 80% effort, 75, 80% effort and maintain it the whole time. So that is workout number two.